let's really look at what's going on with electric vehicle grants and subsidies going to these corporations that the government wants to protect. So the US government is trying to put a 100% tariff on Chinese made electric cars to protect American car manufacturers. One of the arguments though is that companies like BYD are getting billions and billions of dollars in subsidies from the Chinese government and that's not fair for American businesses to compete against. But let's actually have a look at the numbers and see what's going on. The US government subsidized Tesla with $34 billion. BYD was subsidized by the Chinese government for 3.7. So the American company got subsidized 10 times more than the Chinese company. Out of the $119 billion in battery subsidies, GM here got about $21 billion. Here's another grant for General Motors, $7 billion. The truth is the United States is subsidizing their electric vehicles way more than China is. So why are companies like BYD making cars like this for just $35,000 US able to outcompete the North American ones if the North American ones are actually getting more subsidies? It's not the quality of these cars. I've looked at the BYD cars. These are absolutely phenomenal. For just $35,000, this is way more than you get in any equivalent car in North America. And the build quality is actually really, really good. I'm surprised. Next, people say that the wages are really low for Chinese workers, but the wages have risen to where the average Chinese is actually making about 4,000 US dollars per month. I've got a theory why we're subsidizing electric vehicles and not getting the results or the price of these ones. I think it's that North American companies are doing stupid stuff like $10 billion in share buybacks. And that share buyback from General Motors was in just Q4 of last year, 10 billion. So they get seven and a half billion to $20 billion in subsidies and they spend $10 billion giving that money back to shareholders. The money isn't going to innovation like it should. The money seems to go to these bloated bureaucratic corporations where they take the money, give it to shareholders, or give it to executive bonuses or management teams that don't know how to build a car, get so complicated, convoluted, they just can't do business competitively anymore. And they don't need to. Instead of being forced to be competitive, being forced to actually spend the money on R&D and producing a high quality product, they just put a 100% tariff on anybody that can outcompete them. Like, we need to be able to let companies fail. Like, if you can't compete, you don't spend the money efficiently, you can't produce, why are we still subsidizing you? Why are you forcing people to pay more, either compete or go away? We need to end the funneling of taxpayer money to inefficient corporations with bloated bureaucracies who are funneling the money into their own pockets and get back to manufacturing and being innovative the way we used to be in the 60s and 70s and 80s when we could actually build things, when we weren't so convolutedly bureaucratic and inefficient that everything failed. We could do that and we could bring manufacturing back, but we just don't. We waste it going to stupid subsidies that achieve no results. That's why we're being outcompeted. That's why we need to change.